Hello everyone. Here's our project for today. This looks like uh, perhaps just a fiberglass tank. And that's exactly what it is. But kind of interesting, it's got some pipes hanging out of it. And uh, if we look at the inside of it, it's empty, clean. Uh, it's got a seam in the center and uh, some holes at the bottom. What this is is a solar tank. It's a fiberglass solar tank. It's got a small leak in it someplace, probably around that inner seam. It had uh, silicon sealant in it that had broken away from the side. And after about 30 years, it uh, looks like it uh, needs a fresh seal in it. So what we're going to do is use the uh, roofing cement, uh, the uh, EPDM. Uh, in this case, it's just the, the liquid rubber that we're going to use. We're going to start out with a little Rubex with it, a Rubex caulk to seal that inner uh, seam. And then uh, once that's dry, we're going to go and move on to actually sealing it uh, with the uh, liquid rubber. So that's our project. Here we go. We're going to start out with uh, the Rubix caulk. And uh, also I've got some uh, you know, disposable gloves, a little bit of uh, paper towel, uh, some newspaper, things that I'm going to need, I think, uh, for a little cleanup. And what we did to prepare this is uh, we removed all the silicon caulk, uh, pressure washed the inside of it, dried it out, and then I used some rubbing alcohol, 91% uh, along with a rag and a, a trowel knife, uh, and just cleaned out uh, the, the seam. And what I'm going to do then is climb on inside and I'm going to go and seal the seam uh, with the Rubex caulk. And we're going to go and let it sit for uh, overnight, uh, check it to see that it's uh, been uh, cured. And if it has, then we're going to begin the next phase, which is adding the liquid rubber to the, the overall casing. But I'm probably going to give the sealant a, a good day uh, to two days uh, to cure before I go on to the next uh, phase of it. So we took uh, about a two and a half of the three tubes of Rubex and we sealed the seam all the way around um, and uh, you know, filled deep within the crack as much as possible. Um, also where the, the steel reinforcement rods uh, were through, we went and sealed around those. Um, before I had uh, put any sealant in there, I had also run uh, compressed air through the crack just to remove any kind of other debris and then another round of alcohol, rubbing alcohol around it uh, just to make sure there was no uh, oil or anything else in there. So it uh, was completely clean inside there and then uh, using the Rubex there were some spots uh, in the seams that were maybe a half inch uh, but then they tapered down and uh, we just kept uh, you know put working the sealant in uh, getting it as deep as possible into the crack and then just did a quick little smooth over on it uh, to make it easier when we get to rolling the uh, liquid rubber uh, across it all. Um, so that's uh, the Rubex application and uh, we just used a, a regular um, you know, caulk gun for it, nothing special. I've laid down just a towel before I climb up the ladder and go into the tank. Uh, and in the tank you'll see that we've got the Rubix seal in place. Uh, I trimmed up a little bit of uh, the stray pieces so that uh, as it uh, rolls on, it should go rolling on smoothly. And the bucket, we'll remove the bucket uh, when I get to the higher parts of the... Pouring it into the paint pan. You know, why not keep all the mess inside the tank? Because that's exactly where I want all the stuff anyway. And uh, then we're just going to go and start to, to work it into the roller. And then I'm going to start to put it onto the walls. So, um, just like painting a house. At least that's my expectation, so we're going to see how that works. A little confined quarters in here, but, uh, ah. but uh, we'll do. Um, I've got about, uh, it says between an hour and three hours to lay it on. And uh, I'm just going to start with the lower half of the tank. 
just going to lay down, uh, you know, multiple coats, just uh, keep working it until I'm done with the two gallons. And uh, we're just going to go over everything multiple times just to, to make sure it's all laid out uh, as level as it can be or even and smoothly as it can be. So, a little sticky. Um, and with the light in here, it's going to get a little warm. Uh, the, the house that I'm in is about uh, 63 degrees in the basement. And, uh, I'm sorry, 73 degrees in the basement. And uh, it's uh, you know, springtime, the humidity isn't uh, terribly high. So I expect that this will cure, it says, in uh, seven days uh, for a full cure. But since I might be laying it on a little thicker, um, I'm going to actually let it go for about 14 days before we uh, add in the other components. And uh, uh, put the pump in and then uh, mount it and actually add water. Because it's going to have water in it 24-7. It's laying down, you know, just kind of like the wall. And I'm going to work it in and uh, seal all these uh, little uh, fractures and cracks that you can kind of see coming up uh, in here. But that'll all get filled in and we're going to have one continuous uh, layer of, of rubber. You can see here I'm roughly uh, uh, through one gallon and I've got, you know, probably a little under two-thirds done but uh, you'll see in certain spots that it's running so I'm putting it on plenty thick uh, I'm putting it on at more of the 40 mil uh, level and uh, what we're going to do is add the other gallon and I'm going to just kind of go in smooth and, and let it run that means I'm probably going to have to give it a little bit more curing time uh, maybe three weeks instead of just two even though one is one at 20 but uh, you know want to make sure that uh, we've got it good and dry but uh, as you can see it's going on I'm putting it on heavy and uh, even with that uh, because it's a smooth surface it's uh, covering a, quite a bit of space quite a bit of area so I'm going to just finish this up and uh, then we'll see it when it's everything on the inside is all coated and uh, it's got enough runs on it. You know, I'm, I'm at the, the 40 mil uh, in many places, so um, I'm not going to try to get that last quart on here. Um, my calculations might have been a little bit generous because I wanted to make sure there was some slop uh, in the numbers. So 72 um, square feet was probably a bit uh, high. It might have been just a little bit below that, but. Uh, when you're spreading uh, at uh, you know 45 square feet for the bucket at 20 mil, um, you know that'd be like a, a bucket and a half, and uh, I'm uh, over that, so I, I'm on plenty heavy. Um, don't want to get it any heavier, or it'll be a year before I'm able to use it. So that's the uh, the project. Um, I'm gonna let it cure for a few weeks now. And um, when it's uh, dry, then I'm going to start to assemble the rest of the solar system. I've got new gaskets. There's some of the old uh, uh, heat exchangers. I don't know if I'll use those or not, but uh, we'll see. Thank you.